Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to answer a question that has been uh, very popular in the past few days on my channel. Where is Internet Explorer? Or why is my browser so different? Is also a question that I've got because I understood something also with all, you know my personal experience uh, here. So first of all, what you have here and the bottom in the taskbar is Microsoft Edge and a lot of people actually mistake this for Internet Explorer and they get here and they say, wow, why is it so different? Um, first of all, Microsoft Edge is the new browser in Windows 10 and it's actually not bad of a browser, but it's still missing some features and I've noticed on many pages it doesn't display right. So it's maybe not totally uh, ready yet for you know being your main browser I've been using it pretty much all the time uh, as much as I can but uh, I know that on some pages it doesn't work well so Internet Explorer does exist in Windows 10 but you have to search for it now funny thing I went to the start menu and looked at um, basically all apps and said well I'll find it here somewhere and while I search, I notice that it's missing from the list of programs. So that's where I understood that Microsoft really hides it very well. So if you want to find Internet Explorer, it's very easy. You go on the search on the bottom left and just type Internet Explorer. Here you'll see it at the top. You can right click on it and you can pin it to the start menu. You can pin to the taskbar where it's going to show up here. And notice the difference in the icon. And today Explorer is this blue E with a yellow line across it. Uh, well, the Microsoft Edge is a, just a blue E with a little, uh, you know, missing part here, a little difference in the left side of the letter. So Internet Explorer is back and the funny thing is that if you upgraded from Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 and had favorites and everything was there, it's still there. So when you click your favorites and the upgrade, you'll see that everything that you had is still there, including the ones I had. If you see here, I have all the um, favorites that were in my old uh, install here that are still in here. So, um, you know, it's very interesting to see that uh, you go to Microsoft Edge and it doesn't have anything. It doesn't have any favorites. Nothing is there. And that is really something that a lot of people get really frustrated because they say, where's my favorites? They're not there anymore. Well, they are, but it's because Edge did not have those favorites, did not import them. And by the way, this will be a video soon. If you want to use Edge, how to import from uh, browsers the favorites that you have. So it's there and you can use it and have fun with it. And uh, so it's uh, Internet Explorer 11, same version as Windows 7 and Windows 8. There won't be any more versions, by the way, because Microsoft Edge is really the new browser, basically. So uh, that's where it is hidden in the computer. Now that you know, maybe you found that it's more interesting. And uh, what I was talking about, that I had a personal experience with that, that I even didn't think about. You know what? When you're a tech guy, there's a lot of things that you don't think about until someone asks you the question. And you're like, hmm, oh, right. I never thought of that. Why? Because a tech guy just, you know, goes through the computer and finds what he wants. And when I went to my brother's house, um, um, his wife, actually looked at me and said, well, I went to Windows 10 from Windows 8, but I didn't like the browser because she's always on the web. I didn't find anything. It wasn't nice. I didn't like the way it was done. So what happened is she got back to Windows 8.1. She decided Windows 10 was not good, but it was based on the fact that she was in Edge and nothing else. She couldn't tell me anything else was bad. She only told me that Edge, that, you know, the internet wasn't right. And that's where I understood that, okay, she was an edge and I could have told her Internet Explorer was there and it was working right. So um, that's the thing that happened. But you know what? It made me realize how most people can easily, easily get mixed up between browsers and, you know, they just don't know.
So maybe that was not that good of a move, by the way, by Microsoft. You know what? If somebody like my uh, brother's wife actually removed Windows 10 just because of that, uh, I could understand a lot of people might have done the same thing. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know, maybe you have a video you'd like to have about a feature, don't be afraid to ask. I will be happy to do it. I'm here for that. One of the reasons this channel exists is to try and help if possible. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.